Hello everyone and welcome to a new warding video. This time it's for season 14 uh, that just dropped and I think a lot of wards have uh, obviously changed. The map is uh, completely different. There's a lot of uh, new spots that you can award and there's a lot of new pink wards that you can drop. So I'll go through the best and the kind of easiest wards for you to drop. Uh, I'll start with the ward that I think is the best on the patch. Um, so if you're playing red side right now, this bush uh, is very contested for both bot lanes and you can ward it from this bush. Um, if you walk here and you kind of go on the edge just when it turns green, you can actually ward from this bush without walking out of the bush. Um, this is, I think, the best ward on the patch. Um, it kind of hides you uh, warding because if you walk out like this, uh, they can spot you from bot lane. Um, so yeah, very good ward. Uh, these wards uh, still exist, so you walk into Dragon Pit. Obviously, when it's green, you go a bit forward, put ward there. Same for the Herald Pit as well, or the Grub Pit now, I guess. Um, there I obviously missed it, um, but yeah, it's spammable. You just have to go a bit before it's green. Um, yeah, easy peasy. Firebrush wards also still exist, obviously. Now with the indicator, it's way easier. You can kind of look around where it will drop and place it accordingly. Um, the kind of standard ward when you're pushing bot lane now is um, if you have push, you walk this way, you keep running, keep running. This bush is mostly pink warded uh, by the red side, so you can either drop a ward over here which is hidden um, by it. I also really like this ward just over here uh, because it grants, obviously it's like a tri lane here and you grant uh, three ways of uh, vision here. If you have a very, very long timer from bot lane now, I think this pink ward is actually very underrated uh, for you or your AD carry. You can drop it here. Um, not many people walk here because junglers, obviously they clear their camps here or they just run this way um, to kind of get to bot lane fastest uh, if they want to walk that route. Um, so it's very nice, a deep pink ward, uh, so to say. Um, top lane now is kind of an island. You can't do the ward over the wall anymore. There's just this little bush. So that's obviously very important to have vision control in. Um, but what I think is important as well is if you have top push now, you can also move kind of further in and drop either wards over here or just over this fat wall to the crux. It um, doesn't take very long because you have this kind of instant open access, um, so to say. Um, but overall, I think the vision is more important in the sense of the obvious pink spots are very um, easy to tell right now. Uh, so everyone will pink this bush, for example. Um, so if you want to be sneaky, um, I think this bush will also be pinked a lot. Uh, so if you want to be sneaky and not put this word, you can also just put them like around corners a bit. It's like this, for example, uh, it's not spotted by any pink words. You can put words over here, for example. This is mostly pinked as well. Put words like around the walls. Uh, put wards like here for example and usually if there's a pink ward here as well you can put ward just around the corner here so it's not spotted i think that's kind of uh, gonna be the meta for wards in uh, 2024 um pink wards will have kind of obvious spots and you want to do everything you can to kind of um, work around it um and if you're a bit clever with your wards and you don't put them in the obvious spots you'll get a lot of uh, use of it because people are lost on the new map uh, of course uh, so am I, so yeah, I think the best wards are the ones where you dodge the pink wards, uh, so think about that and don't put them in the first bush that you see, and best of luck in 2024.